Okay, deaf people, I get a large amount of phone calls from customers asking about um, long nose diffs and short nose diffs and whether or not they're interchangeable and what the differences are, etc, etc, etc. I've also been asked to do a video on it. So, this is a diff that I've recently uh, just hauled apart for no good reason other than to find out where it had some clonking noises. And down here, ugh, God, they're heavy, <coughs> is a short nose diff. Now the short nose diff is fitted to late 110 rear axles, um, P38, some flavours of rear axle only. Um, they are also, uh, P38 diffs come in two pin and four pin, this is a four pin, and they are extremely different to your standard uh, short nose and long nose units. The long nose units uh, come in 10 spline and 24 spline. 10 spline tends to be all series Land Rovers and very early Range Rovers and 90s. 24 spline is the, the later Defenders, 90s, uh, TD5s, uh, 200s. Virtually every vehicle has a long nose diff. So the short nose diff by default is only in a couple of vehicles, is quite rare. However, being a four pin versus a single pin, which basically means it's got this has got one pin running through it, which I've thrown away, and this has got two pins running through it in a cross, much stronger. So obviously people say that they'd like to fit this diff into a short, uh, sorry, this diff into a long nose casing, and Nigel, can I do it? And what are the differences? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this apart, and then we'll have a look at what those fundamental differences are. Okay, hopefully you can see now that we've got two uh, cases, long nose, short nose. And you will see straight away that the difference in height is significant, hence why it's called a short nose diff. Now in actual fact, if you measure that in some simple way like that, you can see that it is considerably shorter. And the way this is done is via the pinion. I'm not keen to take the pinions out of there in, in the best sort of way possible. Here's some of them earlier. Okay, short nose pinion, long nose pinion, short, long. Both have a bearing, this, well, this bearing's been removed. But as you can see, substantially shorter, and this is actually quite a bit thicker. So because this is shorter and thicker, this has less tendency to flex, whereas this one can flex away from the crown wheel, causing things to break, and which is why we often do pegging. You can't actually peg a short nose because there isn't enough room in the casing to get them in. So you say to yourself, okay, well this looks all very interesting. The, the flange at the top looks very similar, actually it's different. Uh, the, carrier, the carrier clamps and adjusters, um, these are the same, but the adjusters are massively different. So here is a, here is a uh, long nose carrier, and here is a short nose carrier. And as you can see, the bolts are very much bigger. That's the bolt out of a short nose, and that's a bolt out of a long nose. So a much stronger unit, it's beefed up, it's shorter, it doesn't flex, the teeth are bigger, the pinion itself is bigger here, the bearing's bigger. So it does actually seem a remarkably good idea to actually look at fitting one to a long nose casing. The problem is you can't. If you actually look at the two patterns, this is significantly larger in the OD than this. So none of these holes here will line up with any of these holes here in your carrier case. There is no way of easily making this fit a, uh, a long nose casing. Um, there are people that have tried doing it. Um, what they normally do is cut the ring that this sits onto on the casing and then actually look at getting that welded onto a long nose casing but really there's very little advantage in it and the other thing is if you actually look at the centers here you've got to actually make sure that when this ring is welded on to allow this diff to fit and this ring is cut off that where your half shaft goes which is about here has got to be dead central and level or you're going to have all sorts of problems so the net result is these are two entirely different diffs if we actually look at the centers themselves you can't just swap the center over between short nose. Here's the long nose one that I took out earlier with the ring gear taken off and here is the equivalent short nose. If I just put the ring gear back on there 
you can actually see again the heights of these are different the positioning is within the casing between the two is not the same the crown wheel is a different thickness and the positions of the carriers in relation to the casing you cannot just bolt this unit in we do actually machine these and make these fit the long nose casing so that you get the advantage of having the strength of the centre diff put it into a long nose casing which you can also peg as well and we don't use the P38 crown wheel because P38 crown wheel as you can see here is is quite narrow whereas the long nose casing it's very easy to get muddled up long nose casing the crown wheel is much thicker so we actually use a matched pair of crown wheels from a long nose and the center from a short nose and build a diff to fit and that is the main differences between a short nose and a long nose diff